We are here in Branson at the Hollywood Wax Museum. And as you know, we love everything horror. So we couldn't resist sharing with you. Chucky and his bride, the Phantom of the Opera, the Mummy, Bela Lugosi's Dracula, skeletons, Michael Myers, Jason, Leatherface, prop acts to kill people with. We have Elvira, Silence of the Lambs, Scream, and my favorite, The Darkness. Make sure you follow our page. We got more cool videos coming your way right here at Scarefest.
For Halloween, we used mason jars to make these hanging swamp lights. We started by aging mason jars with some light acrylic paints and actual dirt. We dyed creepy cloth a light green color to make it look like Spanish moss, and then it got hot glued all around the top edge of the jar and wrapped in twine. To make it glow, we used solar pathway lights. These days you can get mason jars with lights in the top that are perfect for this, but at the time, this worked great. The top of the light gets glued onto the jar, and a bit of brown and green paint helps make it look aged and dirty. Finally, we glued and tied more twine on to hang it from, and then used scissors to slice up the bottom of the cloth and make it look like hanging moss. Follow Wicked Makers for more awesome Halloween ideas! Now these plastic skulls you get at the Halloween store? Let's make them look way better. All you'll need is some dark wood stain and some paper towels. Put on some gloves and spread the stain all over the skull. Make sure to let it drip into all the little cracks and crevices. Wait about 10 minutes, then take a clean rag and wipe off most of the extra stain. The dark stain will stay in all the little cracks and give the bright white plastic a more natural, kind of dirty skeleton look. Follow Wicked Makers for more awesome Halloween tips. Drink a treat, drink a treat, drink a treat for Halloween. Better give a treat that's good to eat if you want to keep life serene. Drink a treat, drink a treat, drink a treat, drink a treat, drink a treat the whole night through. Little scalawags with fiendish gags can make it tough on you. So when ghosts and goblins by the score, ring. I assure you there's no special technique. Oh, just drop it in. Okay, Una, look alive. Ooh. Yay! Oh, there she goes. <laughs> All right. Why are you so obsessed with Halloween? Halloween is cool. Drink a treat, drink a treat, drink a treat for Halloween. Better give a treat that's good to eat if you want to keep life serene. Drink a treat, drink a treat, drink a treat, drink a treat, drink a treat the whole night through. Little scalawags with fiendish gags can make it tough on you. So when ghosts and goblins by the score, ring the bell on your front door. Better not be stingy or your nightmares will come true. Here's a cheap and simple Halloween project that requires no tools. I bought a couple laundry baskets from Dollar Tree and yellow chain from Amazon and spray painted everything black. 
For this basket, I'm using a three foot skeleton as my prisoner. Then I used four shower curtain rings to clip the baskets together and I hung it from the plastic chain. This guy will hang out by my patio for now while I finish recreating my cemetery. Day one of making my room Halloweeny. I was working in the lab late one night when my eyes beheld an eerie sight. For my monster from his slab began to rise, and suddenly, to my surprise, he did the match. He did the monster match. The monster match. It was a graveyard smash. He did the match. It caught on in a flash. He did the match. He did the monster match From my laboratory in the castle east To the master bedroom where the vampires feast The ghouls all came from their humble abode To get a jolt For Halloween, we made a bubbling witch's cauldron with glowing red coals. We started with a 22-inch plastic cauldron from the store and gave it a black coat of paint. Next, we mixed oatmeal with Mod Podge and spread it all over the cauldron to give it a bumpy, gross texture. We want it to look rusty and old, so we start with a few shades of brown paints and then transition into some greens to make it look like the witch's brew had bubbled over. To make the coals, we start with some flickering orange string lights and cover them in spray foam. We hit the foam with some red and black spray paints and then let the glowing lights do the rest. To create the bubbling effect, we use an ultrasonic fogger. This gets placed into a shallow basin inside the cauldron and it creates this amazing mist effect. We use three bamboo poles to make a tripod and give it a little paint to make it look spooky. The cauldron is hung up with a chain and we point a light straight down to illuminate it. Check out Wicked Makers on YouTube for more Halloween ideas. Obsessed with Halloween. Halloween is cool. 